so today we are going to host a complete mon app into aws so we need three things first in aws account second filezilla and third one is open ssh i'll provide link for all of these in the description so first we'll log in into aws account and then go into ec2 then we'll launch instance click on it then we'll select ubuntu server which is free due to micro free tire eligible click on next uh, next next and then we'll go to configure security group and we'll add two roles one for http and one https and then we'll click review and launch Uh, now we'll click on launch and uh, we will add a key pair and that will help us to connect with the Ubuntu server create a new pair and give a key, key pair name I'll give demo1 as my key pair name and we can download that key pair we'll use that PEM file to connect with the server now we have our key pair file uh, we'll click on launch and we'll view instance it will take some time to go into running so we'll wait So now it's working, uh, we'll go into the address and see. So our instance is ready, now we will connect to the server and install the required applications. Uh, make sure you have your SSH copy it into system32 otherwise you will not be able to connect to the server if you have windows machine so we are going to use ssh to connect give your key pair name within quotes then ubuntu at the red the ip address of your server that you have created copy and paste So now you are connected with the server and we will be installing few things starting with giving an update uh, into the server if, if there are some application which is not up to date uh, it will get updated
next uh, we will install node.js No, next come engine. So once uh, all these are installed, uh, we are going to remove our default file uh, that will help us connect with our port address uh, the server is up and running uh, now we are going to change remove that file and then we are going to edit the file and paste our code there Uh, the Windows SSH client is quite messy. Uh, sometimes it's it gets difficult to work on, but we have to bear with it. So instead of copying, that was looking quite difficult. Just gonna type and remove the file once that is done we are going to open the vi editor and paste our little code so once uh, you can press an i that will give you an option to insert just paste this code and change the domain if you have a uh, your own domain you can type that i'm gonna type my domain there i'll change your domain to footage and come out of the insert by clicking pressing escape and give colon wq to save and return so this will save your file Uh, as you can see the server is running but uh, it's not showing 5 not to bad gateway uh, because I have not stopped the server uh, you need to restart the server before you can see 5 not to bad gateway so now you need to copy your project into the server so I'm going to use FileZilla for that so Uh, so I given step to connect with the server in the description just use that and once connected go into the directory of Ubuntu and create your project I'm giving a two folder within project folder that's for once uh, you have copied your project into the directory uh, you need to install npm uh, even after installing node.js uh, i tried to do npm install uh, it was not working you'll get you might get npm error 
npm not found something like that and uh, then you need to go into your project directory and just give uh, sudo apt install npm then this should work once you have install npm you can do you can give npm install all your normal modules will be created once that is done uh, all we need to do is run npm just we we have to type npm start to start the server Uh, that was a video which I had previously created but it was quite long so I had to make some changes so after all installation you can see what you have to do is npm install oh. uh, it will take some time once it is done there is only a last step is to run the server and then uh, Yaman app is ready you yeah, completely hosted Yaman app into an AWS server of a note uh, this will not work right now because uh, the port number that I have given in my project is 5000 and the uh, port number that we are given into our AWS server is 8080 uh, because of that it's not working right now so I have to make some changes into my project file uh, and give port as 8080 and then copy it into my FTP using FTP I'll copy into the directory and try to run again this is one thing you have to keep in mind uh, I'm just gonna overwrite that environment file and then restart my server uh, to stop the execution you just press ctrl c and then enter uh, as we have not restarted our server we need to do that first in order to see the changes that we have main, made into our directory You can directly type uh, a restart instead of stop. Uh, so it's not running, so the active shows failed. Now I'm going to start again. Now it's running, and we are going to see if it's working fine. Uh, as we as I told you file not too bad yet it will come up now we are going to run our project and that's it as you can see my 
mon app is completely up and running it's working fine you can also upload your project make them and host it completely free into an aws account uh, if you come uh, if you get any issues you can just comment and i'll help you with it thank you